Hello, and you are back in the Velvet Room with Joker the Fool. This is our 94th episode, and today we'll be discussing purposelessness and how to overcome it. So, there's a lot of people who've swallowed the black pill, who think that um, everything is wor- everything's bad and it's only going to get worse. Uh, you know, not only in the uh, personal sense, but in the abstract societal sense as well. And I'm just here to say that you shouldn't be thinking like that. You should be swallowing nothing but white pills, and you should be... Uh, optimistic towards the future to some degree. There's definitely a lot of negativity, a lot of (laughs) reasons to be concerned about um, the future and uh, our current situation, but uh, none of that is going to get you to where you want to be in life. But what the first thing is that if you have no purpose, if you feel like life is pointless, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to find some sort of mission. That's going to be something that you do for yourself. So um, just Waking up one day and deciding you're going to be better and you're going to improve yourself really isn't meaningful if you don't have anything to do it for. So if you have family, you want to be healthy for it. You know, that's a reason to go to the gym every day, right? Just saying like, oh, I want to be in the best shape of my life. Uh, and, and it's just, you, and then you just snap your fingers and it's not going to happen. You need to have reasons to do the, those sorts of things. And then the secondary thing is that you need to start small and then work your way up to the massive goal. So with, um, you know, something like if you were wanting to be a doctor, right, Um, if you were a high school dropout, right, it's not impossible to become a doctor if you're a high school dropout, but um, applying to medical school right after you made that determination to become a doctor isn't going to get you to where you want to be. The first thing is like, okay, uh, one day I'm just going to search up how the steps to get my GED, right? And the next day I'm going to do, you know, you know, make the application to go to, um, you know, an adult education center to get my GED and then it becomes um, right there. So if you have these little things that are small and achievable and you do them, they build on to each other uh, and then you get more purpose that way. So that's really the big thing is that you got to start small and you got to have a defined goal. So if you're doing these small things and the goal is to become a doctor, right uh that's going to give you more purpose and accomplishing those small things is what um is going to get you there so a journey of a thousand miles becomes with a single step you got to take that first step so you know that first step is off your front porch uh and then you know you're on the other side of the country um a thousand miles later uh that was only possible because you knew where your front porch was right so that's really the perspective that you need to have is that you need to start small to work up to this big goal and the goal you should have shouldn't be possible for you to achieve with how you currently are you need you would need to fundamentally alter yourself in order to become the person who can achieve that goal right and that's where uh you're also going to find purpose is that like uh every day is an opportunity to become more like that person um that achieves that grand purpose so that's really with uh, purposelessness and then uh, a whole other thing with um, purposelessness is that a lot of people don't have family and i'm not the best um person to say you know have kids um is a great way to have purpose so if you can have kids and you have someone who you'd like to have kids with uh and you're (laughs) in a at the very minimum a stable relationship everything else can fall into place if you you and that person um, know each other and can rock together then having kids is a great way to, for to imbue yourself with purpose and is also uh, <laughs> guess what you're biologically wired to do and if you don't have that uh, f- familial structure where you're not part of that trinity of humanity the man the woman and their children uh, there's going to be a lack of um, purpose you're going to feel purposelessness if you don't have a family to take care of uh, and that's why a lot of people feel that way is that you know you don't have a family to care care of you don't have people um, in your life that you um, have to be there for you're just alone you're um, go, drifting day to day you know you go from thank god it's friday to oh god it's monday uh you know you're feeling like you're just uh, exist to transfer money from your employer to your landlord, uh, and then you just drown in vice to try and make that emptiness, that purposeless thing go away, and that's not how it's going to be. Do you necessarily need to have, like, seven kids on the countryside in order to feel that purpose? No. But what you need is to set a mission for yourself, and whether that mission is becoming a doctor or getting um, all the money in the world, 
or being very well admired or something or whatever it is you need to have some sort of mission that you're working towards that you cannot currently achieve in the state that you were in and then you figure out okay what is the things I need to do in order to become that person that version of myself that can achieve this grand mission I've set out for my for myself and then your purpose becomes doing those things day by day by day and it all build on to each other and then those small wins are what influences you to keep going and then your purpose in a sense is to keep getting those small wins and then once you've gotten all those small wins you get this big one or or you get a slightly bigger one and that slightly bigger one becomes a bigger one and then you've achieved that goal that you set out for yourself and then it's like okay I'm going to do the next thing and it's going to be like you know with me like I had this goal of finishing my first book and then it became the second book and I finished the second book and now I'm writing the third book so a lot of these times where you can set you can set out a mission where you're just always going to be working towards it right because humanity is constant progress so the world is constant um, progress uh, either uh, in the the positive or the negative uh, and the uh, hopeful hopeful thing is that if you, you realize you're making negative progress you're declining you're, you're doing nothing but being worse and you're wallowing in your own misery you can say well instead of progressing negatively instead of going backwards the only direction I can move is forward and then you determine what that path forward is and that's something you're going to have to do for yourself so a lot of what purposelessness is that people don't have the wherewithal the resolve to set that mission for themselves and then work towards it and if you don't have that then you're always going to feel purposelessness you're always going to feel like um, you're not at all meaningful uh, in your life and you, you just exist to drift between the days you just exist to be a consumer to be um, someone that uh, transfers money from one big corporation to another uh, if you don't have this mission that you set for yourself and then you're working towards it and again you don't have to be spending like 16 hours a day every second of your life working towards this right you just need to know what you uh, what you need to do and then work towards it a little bit every day and then eventually that positive feedback loop becomes so addicting that you're putting in more effort uh, and energy than you ever thought was possible and that's really the whole thing is that you want to make these slow adjustments to your lifestyle where you're drowning in purposelessness um, to one where you feel uh, mean a meaningful life full of purpose uh, and that's not you know a zero to 100 thing it's just not going to happen instantly it's day by day bit by bit where you can make that happen but it definitely is possible but the first thing is that you have to accept that swallowing the black pill is no good for you uh, and then once you've made that um, you've accepted that you can be optimistic you can be hopeful for the future uh, what you want your future to look like is what you have to determine and it should be a future um, that you currently cannot achieve and so you have to become the person that can achieve that future and then it's small things you're doing day by day every day and that is how you're going to get um, becoming more a person that has purpose right you have to set that purpose for yourself and I can't tell you specifically you listening to this what your mission is what your purpose is that's something that's you know going to take some soul searching some self-actualization but it definitely is possible so again that's the you know first thing is that you have to accept that you can dream big you can you know fantasize about what you would be if you had everything you wanted to in life and then once you've made that determination uh, you start working towards it uh, like I said very small you break it down into the things the small things you can do every day you start doing those things and then you'll find purpose in fulfilling that and then it'll snowball into you actually achieving that big goal that you set out for yourself but with that I'll leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is a pre-recorded episode. I'm going out to pork fest. So those will be like, you know, shorter one topic episodes. I still hope you guys enjoyed it. And we're going into the outro now. Thank you for being in the velvet room with Joker the Fool. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Whether you're listening on YouTube, Rumble, Odyssey, or Substack. And be sure to subscribe to my Substack, velvetroompublishing.substack.com to keep up with Machine to Man and all my other projects.